كل مره مسكوني بالغاوي رجعوني ثلاث مرات مسكوني التراك بس كنت باول ذهب بالغاوي واخر مره ضربوه الا بالعصي على اسناني وعلى رجلي ضربونا هون ورجعونا على تركيا وسلحونا كل شيء يعني ما معنا شيء وكل شيء والجوالات والمصاري قلت لهم انك سوري؟ ايه قالوا لنا فك يا سوريا <تصفيق> Bulgarian police, they prevent people from crossing the borders. They push them out, always, and sometimes they hit them. Like uh, his cousin, Hussein cousin, they hit him when he tries eight times to enter Bulgaria. They shout on him, push them, and uh, uh, throw the dogs and sometimes hit, uh, hit them. We usually find them in the isolated, isolated roads. You know, the country roads trying to reach a town in Bulgaria. There have been many measures taken uh -huh. by the Bulgarian authorities and also by Frontex, which have improved a lot of the situation. Measure as deployment of uh, additional Bulgarian officers, or uh, asking support from uh, Frontex. The law is if you just reach Bulgarian territory and say I'm seeking asylum, they should accept you, not push you back. Per la prima volta la Bulgaria si trova di fronte non soltanto ai vantaggi della membership europea ma anche a un problema comune, cioè quello della gestione dei flussi di migranti. I cittadini che scappano dalla Siria hanno un documento, una carta di identità siriana o un passaporto siriano. È facile sapere di che nazionalità sono e che magari non sono immigrati irregolari che vengono dal Pakistan o dall'Afghanistan. Il Ministero degli Interni ha deciso di schierare alcune migliaia di poliziotti lungo uh, il confine, quindi creando una specie di muro umano sul confine, a quel punto sono arrivate, seppure non verificate, molte voci sul fatto che i poliziotti impedivano fisicamente a chi voleva entrare in Bulgaria di poterlo fare. They say we want to guide people to the checkpoints. This is the Bulgarian uh, government. They say no problem if they go to the checkpoint, they're welcome. But you can't just go out of Turkey illegally. We've heard about many people who have said that uh, they were not allowed onto the territory of Bulgaria. We also know that now Bulgaria has started to build a fence. They, they have to, to, to come to, to Bulgaria illegally. Because if, if they go to the, to, the, to the checkpoint on the border, they will uh, be not allowed to, to, to come to Bulgaria. Some might be lucky and come upon a policeman and who is sympathetic, especially if they are family, but it's just you know, so random. There are no interpreters at the border, so they are going to be, you know, you don't have right to enter, go back, go back. And even if they have a translator, I mean, it's not into the interest of the Bulgarian uh, authorities to let those people enter. And we can't expect someone who may have left the country just as missiles are pouring through the roof, that they would leave with their documents, or that later on, if they're in the hands of a smuggler, that they won't lose their documents, or they won't be destroyed, or they won't actually be threatened with their documents. No one can be penalized for moving in an irregular manner to seek asylum. It's a fundamental human right. The border with the Greece and the border with the Roman, it's closed for Syrian. So Syrian has passport and won't go to, to Germany or to Austria, to anywhere, the border is closed. If you look at travel again, they are subject to visa requirements and depending on what the arrangements are with each individual country.
the procedure, the system should be more clear and more uh, organized and, I don't know, it's, it's random. It's like you have, you, you go there and you have to, to do it yourself. <laughs>